Let's get on to my NFL Week 6 picks. Week 6 picks. Last week, I had a very good week. Probably my best week of the year so far. I went 12-3. and three, And for the year, I'm at 48-29-1. Here are my Week 6 picks. The Thursday game this week is a Super Bowl rematch uh, of sorts. We have the New York Football Giants traveling up to New England to take on the Patriots. Of course, these two have history in the Super Bowl where the Giants have beaten them the two times they faced. A uh, much different situation this time. Uh, this game will be aired nationally on Fox Television, the NFL Network, and on Amazon Prime Video. The Giants are all banged up here. They're, they have sit, they're out with uh, a lot of injuries here. Saquon Barkley's not playing. I know Sterling Shepard's not playing. This is going to be the Patriots at a walk. I know the Patriots haven't looked too good here. I know they did beat Washington, but it took a while last week. And uh, they struggled to beat Buffalo. I expect the Patriots to have no trouble with the Giants. The Carolina Panthers and Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be taking a uh, battle at each other in the NFC South matchup. This game is going to be in London, England. This will be aired nationally on the NFL Network. This game will be aired at 9.30 a.m. in the morning on uh, Sunday on the East Coast, 6.30 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, I'm taking Carolina to take to take out the Bucks. The Bucks are the home team technically in this game. I expect Carolina to win in a very close game. Seattle Seahawks travel back east to the Cleveland Browns here for another matchup. I know the Browns are coming off a humiliating loss on Monday Night Football. Seahawks, um, you know, just continuing to do their thing. Uh, the Seahawks are my pick. I'm taking the Seahawks to meet the Browns. Houston, Texas travel to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. The Chiefs with a shocking performance on Sunday night, losing at home to the Colts. While the Texans are, you know, they're three and two. Uh, they just continue to move along here. I think the Chiefs get it back on track. It's, I think, it'd be a close game, but I'm going to take the Chiefs to get back on track and beat the Houston Texans. Battle of winless teams. We have Washington traveling down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Somebody you got to think is going to pick up their first win unless it ends in a tie, which wouldn't shock the hell out of me. I would, I would, would not be shocked at all if it ends in a tie. Uh, but this is where my upset pick of the week lies. Um, the, the Washington team, of course, they fired their head coach, Jay Gruden, earlier in the week. Bill Callahan is the interim head coach now. Uh, I think Washington's a big mess. I know the Dolphins aren't, are, aren't barely any better. Uh, but um, Washington's actually favored in the game. I'm taking Miami in the upset. It's my upset pick of the week. I think Miami's getting their first win of the season here by being Washington. Philadelphia Eagles travel up to Minneapolis to take on the Vikings. Should be a great matchup here. I'm actually going with a little bit of a surprise here. Uh, I'm going to take the Eagles on the road to go up to Minnesota and beat the Vikings. I think it's a close game. I wouldn't be shocked to see it be a low-scoring game. Uh, but I'm taking the Eagles in the surprise to beat the Vikings. New Orleans Saints travel to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Uh, the Saints continue to move along even though they, they don't have Teddy Bridgewater. But they continue to, to perform well and get the job done here with him at the quarterback position. The Jaguars have been kind of there with uh, Minshew there. He's done a pretty good job uh, steering the ship for Jacksonville, uh, keeping them somewhat relevant. I think the Saints get it done again somehow. I think it's another low-scoring game, and they somehow pull it out. Give me the Saints on the road to beat the Jaguars. The winless Cincinnati Bengals travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Ravens, uh, again, a big win last week against the Steelers, while the Bengals lost in my upset pick of the week to the Cardinals. Uh, I think the Bengals stay winless. I'm taking the Ravens at home. To get it done again and beat the uh, winless Cincinnati Bengals to keep them winless. NFC West matchup has the San Francisco 49ers traveling down state to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, the 49ers still undefeated. The Rams, they've kind of looked a little bit shaky here uh, the last couple of weeks. Um, just not, not getting it done here. I know they lost that game last week to the uh, Seahawks on Thursday Night Football in a game they should have won. 49ers impressive on Monday Night Football. I think the 49ers are t taking their first loss of the year. I'm taking the Rams to beat the 49ers here. Uh, and the Patriots will be the only uh, undefeated team after six week six. So give me the Rams to beat the 49ers and end their undefeated season. Atlanta Falcons traveled to Arizona to take on the Cardinals. The Battle of the Birds here. Uh, Cardinals got their first one of the season. The Falcons really struggling. I know Arthur Blank gave... Uh, uh, the the vote of confidence to the head coach and saying they're not going to fire him. Uh, I think the Falcons will respond. I'm taking the Falcons on the road to beat the Arizona Corals. Could be a close game. It wouldn't shock me to see Arizona win, but I'm taking the Falcons. Tennessee Titans travel to Denver to take on the Broncos next. Uh, 
Broncos got on the board with their first win of the season. The Titans st struggled at home and lost to the Buffalo Bills, which was a surprise last week. I think the Broncos are winning it. I think it's a low-scoring game. I'm taking the Broncos in a bit of a surprise here to beat the Titans. Dallas Cowboys travel to the Jets, uh, to, to the Meadowlands to take all the Jets, I should say. CBS, by the way, has the doubleheader. So uh, the Titans, Broncos, and Cowboys, Jets are in the 425 window. Most of the country will probably get the Cowboys, Jets game. Um, clearly, you got to take the Cowboys. I know they're steaming and feeling pretty bad after losing to the Packers last week. Uh, Jets are still winless. Um, Cowboys are going to bounce back here and beat the Jets pretty handily. Sunday night national football game for NBC has the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling out to Carson, California to take on the Chargers. Uh, Mason Rudolph, uh, who was the quarterback for the Steelers, uh, appeared to have suffered a concussion. It's not likely that he will be playing. Uh, they had the quarterback Hodges actually come in. Actually played decent, played pretty well, I thought. Uh, gave the Steelers a chance in that game against the Ravens. Uh, but uh, I, it's, I think it's too much here. I think the Chargers, you know, with Philip Rivers, I know Philip Rivers has slowed down a little bit. But still, he's, he's a better quarterback than what the Steelers have right now. Give me the Chargers on Sunday Night Football at home to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Monday Night Football game on ESPN comes out of the NFC North. We have the Detroit Lions traveling to Green Bay to take on the Packers. Uh, I mentioned about how the Packers dominated the Cowboys and the Lions. You know, they're 2-1-1. One one. They've been pretty good here. Uh, they're, I believe, coming off their bye, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, I like what the Packers are doing right now. Their offense really hasn't even clicked yet. Yes, I know they scored 34 points against the Cowboys, but they, their offense really didn't click in that game yet. So, and they really haven't won big, complete game yet. And I, it could possibly happen here. I'm taking the Packers to beat the Lions on Monday Night Football. Green Bay usually dominates Detroit and Green Bay. So, give me the Packers to win here. The teams on the bye this week are the Bills, Bears, Colts, and Raiders. Those are my NFL Week 6 picks.